On the day of the college draft, they set it up for us so we have our own separate room. Like a little theater dressing room with all the mirrors and the lights. This old TV that we have the draft hooked up to. Sitting there, waiting. Number one pick for the University of Florida, Kelly Barnhill. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be a professional athlete. I think I started playing softball when I was about five or six years old. I fell in love with it as a little girl and never looked back. My mom and my dad have been really supportive through everything that I've done. My dad was definitely one of the persons who really drove me to do my best. He was the one going to be sitting on the bucket. I bruised his fingers, hit him in the head. Every time he just sits back on that bucket and says, okay, keep on going. From high school and going to college. It was a long process for me. I went on a lot of visits to a lot of different schools. At the end of the day, I loved the culture of athletics at Florida, and I loved how much support we got from Gator Nation. And I really, really enjoyed playing for Coach Walton. He personally invests in each player, and I'm not just talking about on the field. He wanted me to develop and become a better person off the field, and I haven't regretted my decision to be a Florida Gator one second. At the College World Series this year, we were playing Alabama, and I, I was getting rocked. The score was something ridiculous, like six, seven, eight, nothing in the first inning. And I, Coach Walton took me out of the game. I was really emotional. I was like, this is it. Coach Walton comes up to me. He's like, do you want to go back in for one more pitch? So it would, wouldn't end my college career on that really negative note that I did. He's like, it's okay. Do you want to do it? I'm like, yeah. So I go up there. I throw one pitch for a strike, and he takes me out. And I get hugged by all my teammates and coach, and as I'm walking out the field, I got a standing ovation from the whole stadium at Oklahoma City. And it was such a moving moment. And though super sad, because it was the last time I was ever going to play in my Gator uniform and be on that field at that stage. But to know I've been able to affect so many little girls' lives watching the game, and that's something that'll always be with me for the rest of my life. It's so important that young girls get to see athletes playing at a professional level and to know that that's something that they can do. <laughs> Especially in the climate that we're in right now, that we continue to push for equality in sports because the young girls see people like them doing these amazing things, then they will be inspired and empowered to do it as well. The Athletes Unlimited could definitely change the landscape for sports for women. Anytime that you're empowering women, you're gonna see a big result. With this new landscape, you're taking more responsibility for the athletes and they have more say. We wanna have a chance to change our sport so the future generations have somewhere to play. We just want to be able to pave the path so that they can.